Every year, astronomers discover thousands of new stars, exoplanets, distant galaxies, and rare cosmic phenomena. Recently, NASA announced another strange and puzzling discovery that no one can explain. Radio telescopes detected mysterious circular phenomena larger than galaxies. These objects amazed the scientific community. This new discovery is just one of the many new wonders of space. Now, we present five of the strangest, largest, or most dangerous discoveries in the universe. Number 1. Who would have thought that a few radio signals could carry such an explosive message? In September 2019, radio astronomer Anna Kinska encountered this strange phenomenon while she was working on the EMU Gleam project. What the researcher saw through the revolutionary ASCAP telescope resembled a ghostly circle of radio emissions floating freely in space. You can imagine the phenomenon as a cosmic smoke ring. Never before had radio astronomers discovered something like this. And imagine that these objects are basically just radiation. Fascinated, the astronomers continued their investigation and soon after, another member of the EMU team, Emil Len, discovered a second, even more sinister ring. The new phenomenon was named strange radio circles, which can also be called mysterious or unusual radio circles. International astronomers generally use the abbreviation ORC to refer to these phenomena. These are not really new to the space, we can only now see them, or rather, hear them. Radio astronomy does not detect visible traces of light in the cosmos, but instead uses huge antennas to collect any conceivable signal from the universe. Radio telescopes are located around the world with either one large antenna or many smaller ones that are located close together in extensive facilities. The discovery of ORCs marked one of the most exciting moments in recent radio astronomy and amazed scientists around the world. ORCs are not ordinary special items, its precise circular symmetry and uniform diameter of approximately one minute of arc represent an absolute rarity in the field of radio astronomy. Circular features are unusual and often indicative of spherical objects, such as supernova remnants or planetary nebulae, but ORCs do not fit into any of these categories. They are also not related to other known phenomena, such as the gravitational lensing that produces the so-called Einstein rings, nor do they have anything to do with double-lobe radio galaxies, as initially thought. An exciting fact is that some of these ORCs appear to have central galaxies in their radio spectrum. You can imagine how big these objects are if they can hold entire galaxies. But not all ORCs have a galaxy at their center, so astronomers have not yet assumed that the rings are formed by galaxies. Some ORCs are like rings that are hollow inside, others appear to be partially or completely filled. These differences in appearance only add more layers to the puzzle. Furthermore, these objects are so close spatially that it is suspected that they may have a common cause. The scientific community has adopted and rejected many hypotheses since the strange radio circles were discovered. Supernova remnants, the probability of that is very low. Planetary nebulae, spectral indices don't really fit here either. The idea that it could be part of a forming galaxy or ring galaxy was also ruled out due to the lack of optical emission. Even the possibility that ORCs are associated with gravitational lensing was soon ruled out because the symmetry and alignment did not add up. Number 2. More than 300 scientists from 21 different countries have joined together in a gigantic project to map the entire southern sky. The EMU Global Project stands for Evolutionary Map of the Universe. What is observed here is not light, but radiation of all kinds, radio signals, ultraviolet rays, X-rays, and general cosmic noise. The world's most advanced radio telescopes work together to decode every little beep and noise in the universe. Like light, waves and radiation can travel incredibly long distances and, like light, 
are exact traces of certain events and dynamics in the universe. At the heart of the EMU Global Project is the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder or ASCAP. In fact, this facility in the remote desert of Western Australia is one of the most modern radio telescopes on Earth. ASCAP consists of 36 antennas, each 12M in diameter, and together they cover a huge field of view. This unique arrangement allows researchers to quickly scan extremely large areas from the sky and discover all kinds of new objects and events. The ORCs are just one of the highlights of this project. One of the main goals of the EMU Globe project is to create a detailed radio map of the sky, and EMU researchers have already discovered dozens of new phenomena. Among the most interesting new discoveries are previously unknown types of galaxies and exotic cosmic events that do not emit light. These discoveries have provided completely new data on the development of galaxies. We now know much more about what exactly led to the development of galaxies, simply from waves of radiation that traveled infinitely far through space and time. Among the most exciting discoveries are fast radio bursts, or FRBs, which are mysterious, short-lived radio bursts that bear witness to extremely distant events. Number 3. Who would have thought that even with billions of galaxies known and explored, we would still find fascinating news. Vaden 1 is a dwarf galaxy that was discovered in 2018. This discovery was made by chance while astronomers were using the Hubble Space Telescope to study the spherical star cluster in GC 6752. This is part of our Milky Way and is located in the region of the halo in the outer layers of the galaxy. Vaden 1 was hidden in the background of these observations and only became visible when Hubble looked very closely at the galaxy. Vaden 1 is about 300 million light years from Earth, making it one of our direct intergalactic neighbors on a cosmic scale. Despite this relative proximity, Vaden 1 is exceptionally isolated, about 2 million light years from the nearest larger galaxy. Because of this isolation, it has probably had little contact with other galaxies for billions of years and has therefore remained unaltered and pure in a special way. With a diameter of only about 3,000 light years, Vaden 1 is extremely small. Our Milky Way has a diameter of about 100,000 light years, and one of our other closest neighboring galaxies, the Andromeda Galaxy, is twice as large as the Milky Way. Therefore, Vaden 1 is really small and has probably remained so small because it has not had contact with other galaxies, has not changed due to collisions with other galaxies and has not grown due to mergers. Another special feature is that Vaden 1 appears to be a very old galaxy. The stars that inhabit it are predominantly very old, indicating that the galaxy has not changed significantly for a long time. With an estimated age of about 13 billion years, it is only slightly younger than the universe itself, making Vaden 1 a living fossil from the early days of the cosmos. Astronomers use its composition and structure to read the conditions of the early universe and investigate how other galaxies have evolved over enormous astronomical timescales, while others have remained unchanged. Number 4. We know of 5,000 exoplanets and none of the planets discovered so far look like our Earth, nor have we found traces of life or other civilizations. Instead, we're finding a series of planets that are so strange, so desolate, so different, and so hostile to life that it's actually scary. WASP-76b and PSRJ-1719 are two of these worlds and are definitely among the most extreme exoplanets astronomers have discovered so far. WASP-76b is an exoplanet that is about 640 light-years away and is classified as an ultra-hot Jupiter. The special feature of this exoplanet is that it is so close to its star that it completes an orbit in only about 1.8 days constantly turning the same side towards the star. Due to this so-called fixed rotation, the daily temperature constantly reaches more than 2,400 degrees Celsius. 
This is hot enough to vaporize metals such as iron on the night side of WASP-76b. This world looks very different, it is extremely cold and always completely dark. Interestingly, extreme temperature differences between the day and night sides cause violent atmospheric winds that transport the iron vapor to the cooler night side, where they condense again as liquid iron rain. This strange weather phenomenon makes WASP 76 be one of the most extreme and unusual planets known. PSR J1719 1438 b is another extreme planetary example that shows us, in a strange way, how unusual exoplanets can be. This planet orbits a neutron star that is also a pulsar and has extremely fast rotations. PSR J1719 1438 b was probably not born as a planet, but as a star. Most of the star's mass was stripped over time by the strong gravitational influence of its neutron star companion, leaving the core that is rich in carbon. Due to the extremely high pressure, this core was so overloaded that it transformed into a diamond approximately five times the size of Earth. Number 5. If you think that we have already seen the strangest and most curious objects, you will be surprised by the jumbos. These objects only caused despair for scientists in 2023 because they should not actually exist. Imagine 40 pairs of Jupiter-like planets performing a strange dance in the Orion Nebula, one of the most active star-forming regions known in our galaxy. You heard right, jumbo pairs are Jupiter-mass binary objects where two Jupiter-mass planets are gravitationally bound to each other, spinning freely through the universe. It is impossible to discover why and how these objects formed. Forty Jupiter-like planets in one place are already an astronomical rarity, but here we have 40 pairs that are also completely free and not bound to a star. While traveling through space. Subscribe now and never miss a new video.